Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know, I am. I hope you enjoyed that little video at the start of this video because that's gonna be the subject of today's little lesson. What I'm gonna do is just break down that sequence and talk to you a little bit about my mindset as I uh, uh, sort of navigate my way through a sequence like that and the things that I think about and concentrate on in order to play, play it as effectively as possible. So. Let's get straight to it, shall we? Okay, it kicks off with, uh, we're in the key of sort of B Dorian. We've got a B Dorian thing going on here. Um, and the good thing about this is that we can just use the same fingering on the top three strings, two, uh, three, two, one, with the same fingering. So one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, okay. Makes it a lot easier when it's the same fingering. Okay. Uh, but now what we're going to do is we're going to tackle the sequence that I play. It's literally just an ascending sequence in groups of four. So it's following those, uh, that particular scale pattern, but it's groups of four. Okay, so it's this. Okay, I'm not applying the muted legato technique. We'll look at that in a minute, okay? So, get the pattern down first. Okay, the other thing is, <clears throat> which is really essential, is I'm using uh, all hammers here. Uh, so I'm not using the pick whatsoever. My, my right hand is in the normal playing position, making sure that I'm muting um, the appropriate strings, okay? so that everything is as clean as we can, we can play it. Okay, no noise there whatsoever. So, again, I'm focusing on relaxing as much as I possibly can. So I'm not using brute force to play my way through this. It's the lightest touch yields the best results, in my opinion. Um, okay, so now we're going to throw in the muted legato technique, which is a technique that I absolutely love. It's got a great sound. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to talk you through it, okay, and explain exactly how, how I approach it. So now that we've dealt with what's going on technically with this first portion, now we can apply the muting technique. So right hand, uh, this portion of the right hand here, needs to be as close to the to the bridge as possible in order to get uh, the, you know the clearest sound possible okay so the closer you are to the bridge with the right hand uh, the better it will sound okay the other thing is we've got to make sure that we're not dialing in too much gain because too much gain things start to get really muddy and messy and it sounds bloody awful so we don't want to do that and the way that I alleviate that is by using the guitar volume control and lower it to about I don't know six between six and eight six seven or eight okay so okay I'm on about six here so right hand in position nice and slowly Notice how every single note has the same velocity, okay? Uh, dynamic range, you know, same dynamic range here. So no undue accenting whatsoever. I love the sound of this. To me, it sounds like raindrops. Uh, anyway, I'm digressing a little bit. I just love the sound of muted legato. So that's how would I, I would approach the first section. See that it's very involved when you're doing this kind of thing. You know, you can't just randomly do it and hope that it works. There's a number of factors involved um, that, that you have to have down for it, for everything to, to flow properly. So, um, so just to reiterate, to recap on what I was talking about, the left hand 
um, hammers only and keep the movement nice and light because that yields some wonderful results okay make sure your muting technique is good general muting we don't want any extraneous noises going on anywhere uh, the right hand it's got to be as close to the bridge as possible in order to attain the best results okay and uh, not too much gain not too much gain that is key here Okay, so I've babbled on <laughs> enough about the first part. Let's move on to the next bit. So once we've done this here, I think that's the pattern. So it's a mixture here of using hybrid picking and hammers from nowhere with the left hand when starting a new string. Usually what I do is I cross strings here with a, the, the middle finger of the right hand and a down stroke with a pick. Uh, not always, but in this instance, that's what I'm doing. Middle, down. Middle, down. The rest is left hand only. That wasn't it at all, was it? Okay, so you get the idea. So once we've landed down here on, on uh, the B note, which is at fret seven of the bottom E string, now we're gonna shift positions and play this. Okay, so that's once again. We're going to tap here at frets, what is it, 21 to 22, and then back down. I really ballsed it up on the initial video, but who cares? And then we're going to descend. It's just a straight ahead B minor 7 arpeggio. Whoops. Okay. And then we're going to finish with this. This is a bit awkward because you've got this, this bar across two strings at the top. Bollocks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play this note, but pull off to a fret lower. Okay. And then we finish with this, root, flat three, one. Okay, so let me do it in its entirety. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get it right. Okay, so where are we? Nice and steady. there almost there anyway I hope I've given you some sort of food for thought here so that you can sort of take away you have something to take away to approach um, you know learning lots of different sequences but but tackling the problem areas that's the most important thing you know do it intelligently you know um, take your time over these problem areas don't skirt over those issues you know just shoving it under the carpet is not going to do anything so tackle the problem head on and and just you know be sensible about it a lot of it is to do with common sense um but anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video uh yep yeah, uh, just a quick reminder it's still 30 percent off my website using the code rg save 30 so it's a great way to support what i do uh, i've just ordered a new lens from for my camera so i'm excited to 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 be getting that um and uh, I've got no excuse to, to upload more lesson content, have I, now? So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.